to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My scrambled loon. <laughs> Today, yes, I He's feel a little scrambled. very encrypted. <laughs> We're going to have to unscramble him. Uh, well, you know what? We've actually become unscrambled. We've just had this horrifying weather in Texas, and we have come out of it. <laughs> We've survived! Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> we want to, first of all, be, if you happen to be watching this right after that happened, we want to say thank you so much for all the love and yes. support you gave us. Yes, yes, you yes. You have no idea how that warmed yes. us when we had no warmth around us. And but we're anyway. thinking about all those others that are still having some issues. That's right. So we love you all. So yes. let's talk about, we are partnering again with some of our most favorite people of the world, Kroger. Kroger. Yes. I'm telling you, they're the greatest um, grocery chain on the planet. Yes. Um, and, and we're doing another thing that I love, breakfast. Breakfast, <laughs> and we're doing our one of our favorite cuisines of all time. Yes, let's tell them. Let's do it. <laughs> we're doing our Italian, Italian skillet, skillet scramble. <laughs> Skillet scrambles, skillet scrambles. These are the best. Scrambles are like the best breakfast. I know, ever. I know. Remember because that? Because you could throw everything but the kitchen sink in there. Not or the, the chicken, chicken sink. sink. Remember that ride that you used to ride called the Scrambler? Yes. That was real. I hated it, actually. It made me want the, the person on the outside would always be like, ah! I know, it was awful. Okay, so let's, I'm right. telling you, we're going to feature, we're going to show you a couple of our favorite um, ingredients that we got from um, Kroger. Yes. And we are really going to be highlighting some of their amazing produce that's yes. so, it's all fresh, good. Fresh, fresh, fresh. This year, it's as fresh as it can ever be at this time of the year. So let's jump right into this, okay? Right. We, we've right. got, I, I think every ingredient. We'll talk about the produce and what we're using later. But let's talk about these eggs. Well, what I was going to say oh. before you started talking oh. was <laughs> I think every ingredient that we've got right here, we got from Kroger. Oh, totally. So it's so, this is so accessible and wonderful. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn this down because right. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Okay, so. So what do you need for a scramble? Well, let we, <laughs> eggs <laughs> would be excellent. So we've got, so this is going to feed nice, like, like a good hungry family yes of four to six people in our family four um you know <laughs> the other families maybe six um but we've got 12 whole eggs here that yes. we just added and, I'm and just you can breaking just the whisk yolks. it okay oh. so he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna whisk that while he's doing that hopefully it'll sometimes my, still i don't be... whisk so hard that the eggs don't break yeah i know that um, okay so now what we've got we're gonna add all these incredible delicious italian flavors to yes. this italian skillet scramble so we're gonna do some italian sausage now you can get Sweet sausage, you can get hot sausage, you can get mild, you can just get even just regular pork and then add some Italian seasoning, maybe a little fennel seed. Um, but what I do is I get the, the, the links. You're going to want about eight to ten ounces, so that's usually three links. And just get a knife, and you've seen us do this before. Just you just cut the casing take off. Take the casing off and then put it in a nice size skillet like this and then just cook it until it's fully cooked and it's no longer pink and, it's, and it smells so oh, good. Oh, Italian sausage is the best. The best. Totally. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take that and we're going to transfer it into a bowl like this. You can continue using the same skillet, which is great. There's going to be some of that um, the ta that sausage that's kind of stuck to the pan. That's yes. good. That's lots of flavor. Okay, so now we're going to use Kroger butter. We love using Kroger butter because it's just so flavorful. I love flavorful. Kroger because the packaging the is packaging so cute. The packaging is really cool. Too. <laughs> they, do, they do everything right. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to use a whole stick of butter in this, which is eight tablespoons, but we're going to start off, I need it divided. So we're going to start off, we're going to saute some shallots. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got two tablespoons to do that, and then I'm going to leave the remaining six tablespoons to uh, finish off the eggs with got it. So, it. okay, got now it. we can move on over here. Yes. So now what I did is back in the same skillet, I added those two tablespoons of butter yeah. and let that melt. And then I added one shallot that I finally chopped. You could use onion if you right, wanted to. Right. If you just hate onions altogether, you could leave them out. But the shallots, shallots have, have a sweet taste. They to do. Them. They're, They're so good. Sweet and yummy. Yes. Okay. So now it. while this is coming to a nice heat, I'm gonna that let this get good heated. already. I know. So good. And the I love smell. the smell. <laughs> so let's talk about these petite grape yes. um, tomatoes. Look at these. Aren't they? They're beautiful. Cute. So, My, what, what do I say? Aren't adorable. They cute, They're adorable. adorable. So Kroger had. <laughs> one, I've always said that you can measure the quality of, I think, a grocery chain or a market on really how well their produce, produce is. Produce, 100%, and, um, that, totally. and, and so when I go, every time I go into the produce section at Kroger, I'm like, oh my God, it's so beautiful, it's so bountiful. And um, they they go through, like, I, I was talking to the to our Kroger friends and they were telling us that they do, like, have 17 different forms of- of checkpoints? Of, well, of, of checking freshness. things that they yeah. check, specifically for tomatoes, to make sure that they're fresh. They And it's crazy, they'd like, they're, if it's something called catfish. Cat, no, cat face. Cat 
cat things, <laughs> cat face, and like if they're scarred, if they're sunburned, yes. if they're puffy. I'm like, can you do right. that to me when I walk in? Because I'm often those qualities. Totally. And um, so anyway, so so they make sure that they're super checked, but they're super fresh. If there are any fresh. that are slightly defective, they don't waste them. They still are able to use them with these great programs called oh, zero, zero Hunger yes. and Zero Waste. Yes. So love all of that. Okay, yeah. so now I am, oh, yes. I'm going to add these tomatoes right in here. Right. And just, right, and just add <laughs> some flavor. And what we're going to do is just let My this. My commentary today is very. It's spot on, <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Um, so this is going to go for literally just about a minute to two minutes until it cooks down. And um, I, for, for the eggs, though, I'm not done yet with the eggs. You're still whisking. Well, okay. no, I just need to put in the salt and the pepper. Oh yes. So we need. Yeah, we. So uh, we got a tablespoon or a teaspoon, teaspoon of, of salt. salt. Good old kosher and salt. And then we have a half a teaspoon of pepper. Yes. So, we're so just now get whisk nice that in. Whisk that in. And um, these literally, like I said, you know, if you like them really wilted down, you can let them go. For for two to three minutes. I like them to leave to retain a little bit of their texture so mm -hmm. I don't overcook them. No, no. Okay. I like them. I like to bite into it and have a little juice back. I like them a little al dente. <laughs> yes. Okay, so now Loon, I'm gonna need you to help me do this. Right. Okay. I, I just you can stop whisking for two seconds. <laughs> Give me this and I'll do okay. it. Okay. Now you don't have to okay, this is it's a one of our pan. heavy it's skillets. Heavy, heavy just pan. go ahead and there pour it go. out of there. Okay. Well, Done. Oh you need all that stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you, you if, I don't have to go now. to the gym. I can just work out here. Okay, so okay. now what we're going to do is we're doing this really almost start to finish. So now we've got the rest of this butter, and we're just going to put... That's how easy it is for everybody to it make it It is home. so easy. And so much of this stuff, all of these different components, you can absolutely do in advance, and then, I mean, like, even, yeah. like, the night before. And then, really, where we're stepping in right now, which it all comes together very quickly, <laughs> you can just do it in the morning and say, come on, everybody, right. breakfast. I love the fact that you've got six, is it six tablespoons, teaspoons of butter in there? I'm making scrambled <laughs> eggs. If I'm, I'm telling you, it's like mashed potatoes. If you're going to do scrambled eggs, they've got to be good and buttery. Oh, gosh, yeah. And cheesy. Cheesy. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that while this is melting. Right, quick. We're just right. doing this straight through. Okay. Let's do it. So we've got um, two cups. I love going with two cups of good old shredded mozzarella cheese. Um, just because we like things cheesy, in case you didn't know yes. that. Um, if you don't think, nope, not yet. No, oh, okay. <laughs> That you were dumping. Let's go. Let's do this. Do this. I'm hungry. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's the cheese, and then we've got some fresh basil. Fresh is so good in this scramble. Um, if you want to use dried, of course, just use half. I've got a quarter cup here. I'm going to put a couple tablespoons in shortly, um, and then use the rest for garnish. Perfect. Okay. And then we've. So I think we've covered yeah. everything. Yeah, you ready for, I mean, what are you ready for? Okay, so now what we're going to do is just going to, I want you to just pour that in there. I'm going to show All you right. the trick for getting perfectly fluffy, delicious, creamy eggs oh, without look using at the cream. butter and delicious. I know. So a lot of folks, and I do this too, if I'm just doing scrambled eggs, I want it to set and I let it go for just a little bit so the, it begins to almost form like a, a omelet on oh, the yeah. bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now a lot of times people will, when they're making their um, scrambled eggs, they will then throw in a little cream, a little creme fraiche. Um, but we've got all we've of got the, the cheese. We got the creaminess cheese the from butter. the cheese. So <laughs> we don't really need to add any. I don't think we need to add any of that. Okay, so now we've <laughs> killed enough time of your time. <laughs> so now you'll see, this is oh, like yeah, I said, it's starting that. to form. Oh, there we so go. So you just. Yeah, you can and, see it right there. And you just kind of move it to the center. If I was not rushing, because I don't want to take up too much of your time, I would have let this probably set for another, say, 60 well, you seconds. Can let it sit. I know, I know. But anyway, we're just going to keep doing this, and you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to you don't want to have your heat so high that it's just going to overly cook these because a right. lot of people do that. They think, oh, it's still got a little ways to go because even when you turn the heat off, those eggs are going to still continue to cook in the skillet. Yes. And you don't want dried out, no. boring eggs. No, That's no, the no, word. No. How many times have we had that? Okay. I'm going to let this continue to go, and then we just stir this in, and it's eating time. <laughs> okay. Now, look that, at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. So I'm going to turn the heat off. So they're um, still a little runny, right? Well, no. runny's not the word I would use. I would. They're, they're still uh, very, very soft. Got you, don't it. Want them, you don't want them to be, like, <laughs> stiff and dried out because, like I said, the, eggs cook quickly. I mean, you, we've all cooked eggs, yes. so you know they don't take long. And Those are cooking right along. And they're, they just keep on cooking. <laughs> Those, so, I can't wait. I'm so hungry. I know, I know. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now all we're going to do is we're just going to add all this. Throw in those lovely tomatoes. Beautiful tomatoes. And they release yes. 
test some of their juices. Um, oh, let's get the cheese going because that's going to get good and melty. I love it. I private, put, those are private selection tomatoes, right? Yes, they are. Uh, suck our little grapes. Yes. Grapes. I love everything private selection. Actually. I know, really I know. Good. We use them constantly. Okay, so now this, like I said, this I'm going to do about Ooh. two tablespoons. Oh, a little more flair of the Italian with that basil with in the, there. Yeah, I mean, and and I mean, the thing that's also just so I think, besides the ridiculous. This taste yeah. is how beautiful oh, this looking is. So good, isn't it? Just gorgeous. I always say, isn't it fun when you, you know, you set something down on the table and for everyone, and everyone's like, "Wow, yeah, <laughs> that looks." Oh, um, and look at that lovely cheese. I know, it just melts. And then you get the, <laughs> the cheese pull. I mean, we 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 are cheese pull yeah, fanatics. Mix that up there. There's nothing more that we enjoy more in life. Than I mean, a good cheese. And what, I don't know what that says about us, but uh, okay. So now let's do. That. I'm just gonna dish you a big old bowl of it up, Loon. Ooh, yes. <gasps> Look There's at that. There's cheese the cheese bowl. bowl. Oh, I love it. And see how they're soft and they're just oh, so yes. perfectly done. Okay. 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 That should last you at least till <laughs> a mid-morning snack. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now don't don't forget we gotta garnish with yes. a little more. Yes. Well, I, I'm cleaning up my plate. <gasps> How cute! You oh, so adorable. <laughs> so adorable. So cute. Oh um, my gosh, uh, that looks scrumptious. Here, there's a new word. And then just some, some just yeah. sprinkle on top. Yes. Okay. It's just. Do you want a fork? Please. <laughs> Y'all. Uh, I've been waiting for this for a very long time. <laughs> at least since he got out. <laughs> yes. Oh man, oh, look at see that. Those oh, that's that's mm. what you, that's what we like. <laughs> I always say it's like scrambled eggs on steroids, mm. but that somehow doesn't sound right. But mm, just oh, <laughs> no. he's done that before. That is. <laughs> I need to get down to its level, or yeah, uh, bring right, it up right. to my level. Oh, the uh, those are my favorites. A scramble is like the best thing in the world. I know. I grew up on because them. you can't screw them up. You can well, throw whatever you want. Yes, to. you can. Oh, People well, the, think the that. The doneness of the egg, of course. Well, this is done perfectly, Thank and you. it's amazing, and I can taste everything the Italian sausage, mm, and those tomatoes are just still like you've got that little bit of a burst I know. in there. And the vibrance of the, the fresh basil. Look at the colors, too. Isn't that wonderful? It's beautiful. And it's kind and of the colors the cheese. of the, the cheese. It's the colors <laughs> of Italy. And and uh, tell me about the fluffiness of the, the uh, egg. It's super fluffy. Look at that. <laughs> It was not it's weighted down super by cheese. Fluffy. <laughs> I love it. This is 100% Luna proof. Yes. I'm like, going to eat my next bite here. I know, and I keep asking you, but I what know. about the... Mm. Oh my gosh. I'll just find out for myself. Oh, those are delicious eggs. Thank mm. you. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Mm. I wish y'all were here. Mm. I, know. I know. Oh, that is so good. Those, I'm... Those are the best eggs. Aren't they the best? Oh, now you can get this recipe on howtofeedaloon.com. These are excellent. <laughs> Go to our social media, like us, share us, do all of that great stuff. Oh my gosh, yes. please Shop don't. at Kroger. Thanks, Kroger, for those wonderful uh, petite grape tomatoes. And everything else. And yes. for just being so awesome. Wonderful. And um, thank you for being so awesome. Yes. And for, um, thank everybody for loving everybody dur during difficult times. And um, mm. make skillet scramble this Italian is style. Exemplary. <laughs> I can't ever do it. No. no. Okay, all right. Bye, all. Bye. <laughs> it's time to exit. <laughs> Hey everybody! Hi guys! Now if you want to be a part of the Loon Fun, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you won't miss a single recipe. That's right! Oh, and speaking of recipes, if you want another amazing recipe yeah. like this, then just click right here! Yeah, click! Click! Subscribe! It's so much fun! <laughs>